Thank you, Lord. The presence of God is really here. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. We just need to worship. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Spirit of God is, 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 is really heaven. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank Hallelujah. you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just begin to worship God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. to God. This is not about us. This is about Him. And as He has come into this place, In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Give him his justice. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just begin to worship. Bless your name, God. Praise him for who he is. Your name, God. For your name, God. Your name, God. Your word. Your word. Your word. Glory to God. Glory to God. Bless your name, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We worship. Thank you, Lord. We glorify your name, God. We glorify you. We magnify you. We come against every distraction. In the name of Jesus, God. Right now, God. In the name of Jesus, God. We come against every witch and every warlock that may try to enter. In the name of Jesus, God. We come against every watch and spirit. Hallelujah. Even those that may come in via Facebook, hallelujah, whatever you try to do will not prevail, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, glory be to God, we come against every word person, every witchcraft prayer, every chant, every hex, every vex, hallelujah, now in the name of Jesus, allow your spirit to move God, hallelujah, mightily upon this night, hallelujah, glory to God, we pray, Father God, that your people will be set free. They will be healed. They will be delivered. Hallelujah. They will have a new walk and a new talk. Hallelujah. In you, no soul will leave the same. Hallelujah. Hallelujah by faith. Hallelujah by faith. Hallelujah by faith. We give you all the praise, Father. We give you all the glory. All the praise and all the glory. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 God is doing a new thing. He's doing a new thing. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever, but it doesn't mean that he doesn't do a new thing. Yes. Amen. 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 God is a God that you can't get comfortable in what you're doing because he'll shift you just as fast as he shifted you. Oh, yes, Amen. Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So we must keep our antennas up. Hallelujah. Yes. To hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, yes. God. We Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, We're going to be, first off, I want to thank each and every person that is joining us on today. Amen. Hallelujah. For UBKI's Friday Night Live Amen. Kingdom Assembly. I'm going to thank the kingdom, uh, the kingdom of God, each and every person that is here on tonight, those that are on Facebook. God bless you. Uh, I want to thank God for he is my, my all in all. Without him, I would not. We would not be here. I know that. I don't know where I would be. I'd be dead. I know that much. Um, but God. But God. Hallelujah. I want to thank him. Thank uh, my wife. Hallelujah. Who supports me and keeps me by looking straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The prophets that God has surrounded me with to protect me from in the spirit realm. Amen. Hallelujah. The evangelists, teachers, preachers overseers, deacons, mothers, <clears throat> all those in their respectful places. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. We're going to be coming from uh, the book of Luke. Hallelujah. For those of you that are on Facebook, I'm going to give you a minute to go get your Bible. It makes no sense to be tuning in. Hallelujah, get a notepad and pen, take some notes. The Bible says, study the word to show thyself approved. Amen. Study the word to show thyself approved. 
Amen. 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 No, come on, come on. Come on. Study the word to show thyself approved. Amen. So the only way that you can make sure that what you're being told is the truth is by taking it before the Lord in your private time Amen. and studying what it is that was spoken. And let the Spirit of the Lord either uh, uh, confirm or say he was lied to. And if he says he was lied to, please call me because I don't know everything. So uh, I'm always willing to learn. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So again, what read? 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 I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Okay. What? We're going to be going to uh, Luke chapter 8, verse 22 through 26. Luke chapter 8, verse 22 through 26. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and read that. Babe, read, uh, after he's done, read James 1, 2 through 4. Now it happened on a certain day that he got into a boat with his disciples, and he said to them, Let us cross over to the other side of the lake. And they launched out, but as they sailed, he fell asleep, and a windstorm came down on the lake, and they were filling with water and were in jeopardy. And they came to him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water. And they ceased, and there was a calm. But he said to them, Where is your faith? And they were afraid and marveled, saying to one another, Who can this be? For he commands even the winds and the waters to obey him. Amen. Amen. One go Henry James 1. Two through four minutes. Yes. James one, two um, through four reads. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into divers temptation, knowing this that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing. Amen. And I'm going to go ahead and continue on. It says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach. Mm -hmm. And it will be forgiven to him. But let him ask in faith, not doubting. For he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. But let no man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. Yes. Stable in all his ways. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So, the topic of this message is called, Faith Will Carry You to the Other Side. Faith will carry you to the other side. Amen. Amen. Have you ever been standing on one side of the street, needing to get to the other side, and just cars just continue to go by, and you step out, and here's a car, and you step back, and you, you, you're trying to get to the other side, but you have these obstacles that are preventing you from getting across. And, and, and you don't want to get hit by one of them, because if you get hit, you're likely to die. That's it. Amen. Hallelujah. Or, or have you been in a rush and, and, and you needed to get over some train tracks? So you see the little red lights going, but the little arm is still up. So you speed up a little bit trying to make it before that arm to even cross over those railroad tracks. Because you know that train is a long one, so it's gonna, you're going to be there for about 15 minutes. You, you ever done that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen. Being told you have a blessing. But, but coming, a blessing coming, but, oh, my notes didn't, didn't got me here. But you had to get your life right. Mm -hmm. So someone's told you that you have a blessing, but you got to get your life right. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So you get your life right, everything starts going in the right way. What have you done? You've crossed over. You've gone from doing one thing to doing another. You've crossed over. They say there's a fine line between love and hate. Yeah. You know, you can cross over. Amen. 
to that other side. There, there's a fine line between sane and insane. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> One minute you can be sane, the next minute you can be insane. So I just like to say welcome to y'all for crossing over. Amen. Welcome to crossing over. Amen. You understand what I mean here in just one minute. In just one minute. The Lord stated that they were going where they were going, but he didn't tell them what they would have to go through to get there. So if you remember in the story here in Luke, let's turn back to that in Luke. He said now it happened in a certain day that he got into a boat. The King James Version says a ship, but it says a boat with his disciples. And he said to them, let us cross over to the other side of the lake. That's Luke what? That's Luke chapter 2, chapter 8, verse 22 through 26. So he told them where they were going, but he didn't tell them what they would have to go through. Mm. Amen. So how many of us has God spoken that he is going to bless us with this? But we find ourselves in the midst of a pit or some quicksand or something that is preventing us from getting to that side. How many of us have been told something, but as we make a move, a car is coming, so we got to take a step back. Maybe we can get two lanes, take three steps forward, then we got to take four steps back. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes. And in this, how many of us have given up? Because it seems like we'll never get to the other side. Come on, amen. Amen? Come on. But you remember, God said, he told him, he said, he said, he said, let us cross over. Mm -hmm. This is God. Now, the Bible says that God's word will not return to him void, mm -hmm. right? So if God said, that we are going to the other side, wouldn't you assume that you, you want to the other side? You're going to get there despite what it looked like, what it yep. feel like? Yep. But why do we give up? Why does it we give up? Lack of faith. Uh-oh. Like, like, like my son would say, good night. Yeah, good night. <laughs> Lack of faith. Amen. 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 No, no, don't, 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 don't get ahead of me now, uh, Mr. Prophet. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Christ said, let us go. So why are we hesitating? See, a lot of us, if we don't make a move, a lot of us just are scared to make a move. We're scared to, to step out into the deep. You see? What did, what did, what did Peter, Peter said, if that is you, tell me to walk on water. And as long as he kept his eyes on Christ, mm -hmm. he walked until he seen the waves. Mm -hmm. Right? Right? So, what is keeping you from moving forward? Yes. What is keeping you from living out the dream that God has placed within you? The desire that he's placed in you? Yes. Why are you hesitating? If God said go, why are we staying? God said, told the Israelites, he said, okay, it's time to move away from this mountain. It's time to go. You've been going around the same old mountain for 40 years. When are you going to make a move and go to the land that I've promised you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? You remember Moses? Moses told him, hey, let's get up out of here and go to the land that God has for us full of milk and honey. So when they heard the milk and honey, they're like, oh, my God, that sounds like the place to be. Let's go. But they didn't know what they were going to have to go through. He didn't tell them about the wilderness. He never told them that before they can get into the promised land, they had to drop all the stuff that they learned, all the things that they believed from Egypt to go into this land and possess it. You see, how many of us are holding on to old stuff that is doing us no good? Come on. But God is telling us to move. No. And we wonder why we ain't moving, why things ain't working. Maybe it's because we're still holding on to things from the past that is preventing us from moving into the future. Yes. Amen? Amen. 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 You see, you have to remember, when God say move, we're supposed to take his hand 
and he's supposed to lead us. That's right. You see, we can't take his hand and, and drag him the way that we want him to go. You see, it don't go like that. Because you find yourself going around the same mountain. Right. You'd be like one of them hamsters going on that wheel, just going around, going around, going around, ain't going nowhere. Amen? Amen. Yep. Come on. Amen. Let's go. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. See, God, is, God has given us all a vision, a desire. In 2019, when I was, when I was studying upon this, I was just looking at the beginning of the year and how, you know, we all have big hopes in January. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, we got rid of that year, it was all, oh, it was bad, so this year is going to be a great year. Mm -hmm. And this is what we all were saying. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, here we have all of this craziness going on on the earth. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people have forgotten what God had said to them. Because the focus is so much on what's going on on the earth. But doesn't the Bible say walk by faith, not by sight? So why are we looking and not walking? Why are we looking and not walking? Whatever God has said for you is for you. Despite what it looked like. Despite what it looks like. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible goes on to say, and they launched out. They moved. But as they sailed, he fell asleep. And the windstorm came down on the lake. It says he fell asleep. Jesus decided to take a nap. He was out. He wasn't communicating with nobody because he was sleeping. He was sawing down trees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. Slobber all going down the side of the Like my son. <laughs> 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 Amen. Listen. There's always that time in our crossing over that it seems like Christ isn't there. Yes. He's not listening. Yes, Lord. We can call come his on. name and there's no response. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, come on. And, 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 and we get terrified. Yeah. Because it's like, what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Christ, and we're praying and praying and we're asking everybody that's under the sun that got two pair of lips, can you pray for me? Mm -hmm. We run around asking every prophet, can you prophesy for me? Mm -hmm. You run at all these people. Yep. But the Bible says he will never leave us, mm -hmm. nor will he forsake us. Right. People of God, if you understand, listen, why don't we believe the Bible? Mm -hmm. See, God is a very simple God, and we are complex people, mm -hmm. you see? And when we take our complex uh, imagination and try to place it in a holy place, it just don't work. That's right. It doesn't work. Yep. See, that's the problem with uh, churches today is we have so much philosophy that is being spewed from the pulpit, mm -hmm. and, and not just the simple truth of the, of the Lord. It's simple. Mm -hmm. he's, he's, he's not, you know, he doesn't use flamboyant. Matter of fact, who was it? Was that uh, Peter? Was that Peter? Yeah. Yeah, Peter, Saul, yeah, Saul and Peter, when they, they were like, these, these two, they, they're uneducated, but they, they're speaking so eloquently. Mm -hmm. They had to be before the Lord. He took the, 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 the dumb things to conform the wise. Yes. So why is it everybody wants to sound like they're wise? Mm -hmm. Why do you want to sound like something that you're not? Just be you. Foolish relations. Let, let, let God shine through you. Yes. Amen. 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 See, he knows you. Yes, See, that's just, like, that's just like when you pray. We are and all this other kind of stuff. He knows you. Right. He know how you talk. He right. know how you think. Right. You know more about you than you know yourself. Here and so are. does the devil. Right. Amen. Yeah. So if this be the case, why don't you just try to be you? And let God make the changes. Stop trying to change yourself into something you're not. 
Because the right. real you will always shine through. Always. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. Yeah. See, that's why we need the spirit of discernment, people. That's right. You see? Because those that try to fake all the truth goes and see if your discernment is up, you go, ah, there's the truth right there. There it is. I can't deal with you. Gotta go. <laughs> Amen. Amen. He fell to sleep. And when he fell to sleep, the disciples, the disciples, you know, I just said that, you know, listen, are you a disciple? Just, 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 just people on Facebook, are y'all disciples? Turn the TV off. Listen, I'm right. talking to you. Right. Are you a disciple? Yes. All right. All right. So you say you're a disciple. Okay. Are you teachable? That part. Teachable? Are you teachable? Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Disciples teach. Mm -hmm. They listen to the master. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So the church that you go to and the leader that's leading the church, are you his disciple? Are you following him and is he teaching you the things of God that's leading you? Mm. Jesus. Uh oh. I think see, we, we're talking about something here. Right. See, we're forgetting about what church is all about. Yes. It's not about leading a person to the pastor, mm -hmm. to the prophet, to the choir. Do you know you have people that Saturday all they can think about? is going to church and listening to the choir. Mm -hmm. mm. But we should be thinking about going to church to praise God for getting me through another week. Mm -hmm. for, 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 for keeping me from getting into an accident. Mm -hmm. For keeping my, my kids from, 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 from death. Mm -hmm. From, from, from COVID-19. Mm -hmm. But we're too busy focusing on the wrong things. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, he said, my father's house is a house of prayer, mm -hmm. but you've made it a den of thieves, religious spirits, made it a den of thieves. What does that mean? A thief is only thinking about himself. He's stealing from everybody for self. See, just that, that, that's, that's a word for today. God is arresting all of the thieves. Oh, yes. Amen? Amen. He's arresting all of the thieves. So if you stealing from God's people, if you taking from them and not giving to them, you're arrested. And you wonder why your church is not opening back up hmm. and you're having financial troubles right now. Uh-oh. Talk about because that. Because you're arrested. Right. Amen? Amen. Amen. And see, and then there's been some that have been unemployed and they don't even know it. Uh-oh. What kind of person will go to a job every day and it, the boss keeps saying, you've been fired a long time ago. Right. But you still continue to come to do a job that ain't yours to do. Right. When he told you to go sit down for a while, get your life right, and then come on back. Amen? Amen. The Bible says, and the windstorm came down on the lake, and they were filled, filling with water. The boat was filling with water, and they were in jeopardy. They were in jeopardy. Jeopardy. That's the key word. What is jeopardy? Jeopardy means to run a risk of. So it doesn't mean that something's going to happen. It means it's possible. So it was possible that the boat could tip and they could all drown and die. But God is with them. So would we think that? Or would we think that we would be okay because we have the most high God in the boat with us? Despite him being asleep, he's with us. And he can't nothing kill him. So if he ain't going to die, we ain't going to die. Right? Amen. But see, when we get into some situations to where it, uh, 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 we could run a risk of losing or run a risk of not getting, do you understand how fear operates? See, fear is 
losing something that you have. I'm scared I'm gonna lose my wife. I'm scared I'm gonna lose my job. I'm scared I'm gonna, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Or a fear of not getting something you want. See, some people will do whatever they, they, they can do to get what they want. Rob, steal, kick, and scream to get what they want. And some people will do just the same to keep what they have. Amen? Amen. See, even on today, right now, there's individuals that can't afford to keep what they have because they don't have the finances to keep it. So what are they doing? Illegal things. Are they robbing, cheating, and stealing to get what they need to keep what they have? And what is the root of this? Fear. It's fear. You see? See, and, and, and here, I'm, 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 let me share this. And then you have some people that are doing what seems to be the right thing. But too much of, too much of anything is not good for you. You can work yourself to death. God says that the Sabbath day is a day of rest. Mm. But no, Lord, I need money. They pay me double time if I work on Saturday. So I got to go. Mm -hmm. But he says, keep my day holy. Mm -hmm. You see? And then we got Constantine that, that twisted us. He brainwashed us and think, got us thinking Sunday is a day of rest. And, and so we working on Saturday and taking Sunday off. And got it all twisted. And, and, and think we're doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. You see, God's commandments and his statutes are true. And they're real. And if you follow them, there's a blessing. And if you don't, there's a curse. The Bible says, life and death is in the power of the tongue. Yes. You can speak life, you can speak death. You can also do life, and you can do death. Right. That's right. your choice. Mm -hmm. That's your choice. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, a religious spirit will beat you over the head to do the right thing. Oh, yes. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It'll just, just, just it'll make you feel bad. Yep. And, 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 and put you in front of everybody and let them know what you did and make you feel like this. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's called, and then, and then you go away talking about I was hurt by the church. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as church hurts people. There's no, people hurt people. People hurt people. People hurt people. And see, people that don't know the true word of God and living for Christ hurt people. The word can hurt people. Oh yes. Amen. 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 It's a two-edged sword. It can cut. It can cut people into salvation, and it can also cut people into condemnation. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So he goes on to say, he says here in verse 24, he says, And they came to him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. So perishing is another word for in danger. When we focus upon those things that bring fear to us or puts us in danger, mm -hmm. faith is out the window. Mm -hmm. Because our trust is in whatever it is that's putting us in danger. We trust <laughs> more in that than we do in Christ in the boat. Mm -hmm. Our Christ being with us never leaving us nor forsaking us. Yeah. We forget that he's with us because our focus is on whatever that thing is. That's right. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. And from that thought comes a feeling, comes an action, and we begin to react like they did. Master, master, we're in danger, help us. You see? So what it says is, it says, then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging water and, and they ceased and there was a calm but he said to them where is your faith and that's
that's what he's saying to many of us today. Where's your faith? We're going through a time that I don't think anyone in this room or on Facebook has ever seen. Where's your faith? You know, we're, we, 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 we're in fear of losing homes, jobs, cars, the things that we've acquired. You know, and, 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 and in the midst of this, what's happening is relationships are being tested. Because there's a lot of relationships that were built on money, mm, yeah. on security. Oh, he can take, he'll be able to take care of me. Mm -hmm. She'll be able to take care of me. Mm -hmm. But she done lost her job. Right. So now what's going on? He done lost his job. Right. Mm -hmm. So he ain't got that money no more. You can't get them nails and that hair done no more. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> so now what's going on? Right. Where he at? Uh-huh. You're looking for a sugar mama or a sugar daddy, ain't you? Mm -hmm. See, yeah, see? Uh-huh. You see, you, you, you got you got those those faithful tithers, those faithful faithful people that have been going to church for the last 10 or 15 years. Mm -hmm. You know those people that got their seats. Everybody know that this is where Mr. and Mrs. Jones sit. They've right. been sitting there for the last 15 years. Right. Don't sit in them seats. Mm -hmm. Those are reserved. Now, I ain't never seen a church, a seat in a church that's supposed to be reserved. Mm -hmm. If Jesus ain't got a seat that's reserved, then why not? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Glory be to God. Listen. When we focus on fear, we, 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 we just cast out faith. We cast out faith. See, they, they, they didn't believe. This will get you. Do you know they walked with Christ? They, they seen all these miracles. They seen all this stuff, but still didn't believe who he was. They still didn't believe. And see, I, I, I was thinking about that when I was studying. I was like, man, that's something. Because here we are, all we have is a book. We have a book. They had the person. We got a book. They were there. Seen everything. And still, what did, what did they say? They said, uh, And they were afraid, and they marveled, saying to one another, Who can this be? Mm. It's God, teacher! <laughs> mm -hmm. My goodness. So I'm saying, how is it that we can read this book and walk in a faith? When these individuals were with God, mm. traveled with Him, mm -hmm. seeing firsthand what He signs and wonders, but still were asking themselves, who is this man? You know what this tells me? That all of us have an ounce of doubt somewhere in our mind. Mm -hmm. Now, the way that that is take that ounce is taken out is having a uh, what I like to call a uh, a visitation a visitation so when, when the spirit of the Lord visits you and you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that it was him and he talks with you through visions and dreams because it happens it's happened to me many times <clears throat> It, it takes that doubt away. It takes that doubt away. See, what took their doubt away is when he, they seen him die, and then he rose again. When he came into the room, and they all were in there, and, wow, it was true. He is. He is. See, we all say we have faith. And what is faith? Faith is a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Here, let me, let, me, let me say this. Faith is a trust and a belief. Mm -hmm. We all have faith. Turn to uh, James chapter 1. 
Because we, we need to understand what is the purpose of faith. Why, why, why do we need it? James chapter 1, verse 2 and 4. My two brother, four. count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Mm -hmm. But let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Amen. So what this is letting us know is the purpose of faith. Faith is, 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 is it, we should be joyful when we go through something mm -hmm. because it's our faith being tested. Yes. It's our faith being tested. You see, we've been lied to. When we're able to look at, at, at our situation for what it is, mm -hmm. it gives us the ability to respond to it in a more healthier way. So now understanding that this trial, this situation I'm going through, this COVID-19, this thing here, is testing my faith in Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. So then it says when faith has its... Has its uh, go ahead and read that again. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Okay. Knowing that the trying of your faith so as your faith is being tried, what is it doing? It's creating patience. Mm. So we know where it says patience. It's a virtue. Uh, 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 what's that? It's a virtue. It's a virtue, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or uh, are many of us say, man, I ain't got no patience. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because we want what we want and we want it now. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But God is saying that when you have faith, you can stand and wait. Wait on what? Wait on him. See, the Bible says, the Bible says this. It says, it says, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. It doesn't say, run and join me in getting yourself. No, it says, stand, be patient, wait, be joyful. Yes, amen. The Bible says that joy is a strength. Mm -hmm. yes. It's our strength. Yes. So, 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 have you ever seen a mentally challenged person mm -hmm. in the midst of something where everybody's just going crazy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're just, they're just sitting there smiling, smiling. looking at them. Mm -hmm. And then somebody got to grab them and say, come on, you crazy cunt. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But see, that, that, that's how we should be. Yeah, I mean, now, 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 we have wisdom. Now, certain things, we're going to have to respond. Right. You yes. know what I mean? Yes. But, yes. you know, some things that we react to, we don't need to react that way. That's right. We can just, 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 just okay, God, I know mean, you got this. I'm just going to sit here and just read my book. I ain't going to let it get to me. I ain't going to get in my emotions. I ain't going to act crazy. I ain't going to create a homicide. I ain't going to commit suicide. I'm just going to wait on you to... Work it out. How many of us have gotten into something, gotten to a trial, and it's like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to work through this. I don't know how this is going to work out. But somehow, it worked out. Maybe not to the way we wanted it, it to. But it worked out. But it worked out. Yes. Yeah. Amen? So we done wasted all this time yes. worrying, stressing, fussing, and, and, and calling everybody we know, and asking them to pray, and and to do all this other stuff. When God already had it worked out, he just wanted to see, let you see where your faith is. See that? Because that's really what it's about. It's a barometer. Yes. You see? Because all of us have faith. But what do you have faith in? In the name of Jesus. You see? See, all y'all sitting in these chairs have faith that they be holding you. I didn't see none of y'all get up to check to see if the legs and got loose. Right. Or anything like that. You all have faith. <laughs> you believe that these things are going to hold you up. Yes. So, you know, you can enjoy the little message and things like this. Right? Right. You see, we all have faith. But what do you have faith in? What do you have faith in? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I read uh, five, verse 5 through 8, and I'm going to close with this. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God that giveth liberally to liberally and upbraideth not and it shall be given but let him ask in faith nothing wavering 
For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. Yes. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all, in all his ways. Oh, yes. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So what we have here is we have two things. We're showing, it's showing here the test of faith and the secret to answered prayer. Mm -hmm. The secret to answered prayer. Okay? So, it, it, it tells us, let me turn here real quick. It tells us here. If any of you lack wisdom. Uh -huh. So here they are in the boat. Mm -hmm. To see the rain and the wind and all this coming. So what do we do? Have you ever came to a trial? Something has come your way. And, and you ask yourself, okay, so now what do I do? Okay, so when you ask yourself that question, what's the next thing that you do? Mm -hmm. You begin to think, right? Mm -hmm. And you begin to try to figure out what to do, correct? Mm -hmm. With your little finite peanut brain, right? right. <laughs> like you know what to do, right? right? Mm -hmm. But if you knew what to do, you wouldn't be in a position anyway, right? Wow, right. <laughs> All right, so... We don't have the wisdom. So it says when we lack wisdom, let him ask of God. Do we ever think of that? Do we ever think, what do I do? God, I don't know what to do. I need you now, God. Help me to understand what I need to do. Yes. Do we do that? I mean, we, we, we get to that point, but, but first... We got to use our finite mind. Right. We, we got to, we got to, because we little gods, we think that we, we can figure everything out. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, but when everything that we try does not work, mm -hmm. then. And all else fail. We go to God. That's it. Last but not least. Yes. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So we don't put ourselves through all the stress. Yes. When we could have yeah. just went to him yeah. in the first place. Right? Mm -hmm. right. Amen. Yeah. All right. So. Let him ask, and he will give to them liberally. What that means is he, he, it don't matter who you are, he's going to give it to you. Yes. You know, male, female, rich, poor, no matter, he's going to give it to you. If you ask him with a sincere heart. Okay? All right. All right. It says, and it will be given to him. It says in verse, what is that, six? Mm -hmm. It says, but let him ask in what? Okay, and with no what? Wavering. What's wavering? Doubt. Mm -hmm. Have you ever prayed something? Oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I just thank you, Father, for what you're about to do. Oh, you're such a good God, and I just pray, Father God, for the finances you're going to give me because my rent is due, and God, you said that you uh, that 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 you will supply all of my needs according to your riches, and I believe it, Lord God, and I receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. And you get me like, oh my God, oh, I'm going to pay this rent. So why are you going to ask God for something and then get up and start worrying about it all over again? Right. That's not faith. That's, that's doubt. So how is God going to answer your prayer if you don't believe what you're praying? It, it makes no sense. Like my wife said, if you're going to pray about it, don't talk about it. If you're going to talk about it, don't pray about it. Amen? Amen. It, 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 it makes no sense. See, this is how we can get our prayers answered. This, this is the secret to answer prayer. Faith. Faith. You see, with God being in the boat, it didn't matter if the boat filled up, tipped over, whatever. They weren't going to die because the love of Christ is with them. The love of Christ is with you. Whatever God told you, whatever the Lord spoke to you, pertaining to your destiny and your purpose, no matter what is going on in the world, and no matter what is going on in your life, it must come to pass. Why? Because God's word 
is his bond. He's not a man to where he's alive. Now, he didn't tell you about all the, 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 the dips and the, 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 the pitfalls and all the things that you're going to have to uh, uh, kind of go through. But because you have to go through them, mm. doesn't mean that you're not going to reach the destination. That's right. That's right. Amen. The only thing that will prevent you from reaching the destination is you. Not the situations, not the circumstances, yeah. but you. Mm. You see? Yes. And so what the enemy wants you to believe is that these situations are there and there's no way that you can make it over. So let me just forget about what it is that I was going to do. So a lot of us have old dreams, visions, things that God has put on our heart to do that are just sitting there. Have you ever... Has God ever given you something and you looked at it and said, whoa, that's really, that, that would be nice. That would be cool to do. And that's all, that's as far as it goes. And then a year or two later, you see something on TV or you see something like, and I was thinking about that. See, whatever God is trying to bring to the earth, he needs a vessel to bring it to the earth. And so he comes to you. But you don't say, yes, Lord. You say, no, Lord. So he moves on to the next person. He's looking for some people to say yes. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. And, 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 and some of us will say yes until it gets too hard. Mm -hmm. And then we'll give up. You see? Mm -hmm. But see, that, 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 that there is, 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 is supposed to be a faith builder. You know, we say push through. Mm -hmm. what, what do we mean? We mean just to have faith. And continue to move forward despite what it looks like, what it feels like. Just push through that. Push through it. Because once you get through it, when you get to the other side, you'll see that it was worth it. Mm -hmm. Many of us have stopped right, right at the point of the blessing. It was right there. Mm -hmm. If you just went just a little further, mm -hmm. your whole life may be different. Mm -hmm. But you gave up. Why? The lack of faith. Lack of faith. Lack of faith. People of God, this is what the Lord had stated as I was meditating upon this word and got all this information. I was just sitting there and just thanking him for it. What he had given me, he said this. What the Lord spoke to you before 2020 will come to pass. Where is your faith? The faith of the past must come up. The enemy has churned up the fire. You, you're either going to have faith or jump out because it's too hot. But the end result is you will make it to the other side if you have faith enough to push through. That's what the Spirit of the Lord had, had uh, spoken to me. If you have faith enough to push through. This is the season, and I've been saying this all year, where we should have gone into our closet at the beginning of this pandemic and examined ourselves to repent and to turn to God, to build our relationship with God, mm -hmm. to, to, to draw closer to God. Because it's only through God that we're going to be able to make it through the trying times to come. Yes. You can see what's going on in the world. All of this anger, all of this rage, all of these killings, all of this stuff going on. And what it's doing is it's putting a fear mm -hmm. into people's hearts. See, there's two trees. Mm -hmm. There's fear and there's faith. That's right. And everything the branches are all the emotions and things attached to each one. So as we walk in fear, we're walking with the anxiety, depression, oppression, rage, anger, all of these negative emotions and actions. But as we walk in faith, we're walking in love, compassion, trust, uh, unity, family, all these type of things which is of God. 
And so in order to do such a thing, we have to shift. We have to come from amongst them. We have to turn off the television, which is brainwashing us and, and putting us in a position to believe the lie that they are putting out. We must seek first the kingdom of God. We must build the relationship. See, it's, it's, it's not about going to church. Yes, we are to assemble. It's about building a relationship. Your own personal relationship with God. Because when you build a relationship with a person, you trust them. Mm -hmm. You believe it. Mm -hmm. You have faith in them. So if you're wondering why you don't have faith in Christ, it's because you don't have a real relationship. Mm. Bottom line. Period. Bottom line. I just want to pray real quick. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this word. Father, you say that faith is a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. You say faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Lord, I thank you for your spirit that has allowed the word of God to be shared upon tonight, to go into the ear gates of each and every person that is in this place and those that are on Facebook that are listening now and those that will listen in time to come. Faith comes by hearing. And I decree and declare that this word has been heard by each and every person that is in this place and listening on Facebook. Hallelujah. That it will transform their mind and their heart to where they will desire a deeper relationship with the Most High God. With the Most High God. I want to pray for those that, those individuals that have never thought about having a relationship with God and just happen to tune Amen. in. Yes, yes. And saying, I, I, I need a relationship with God because things are getting crazy. Mm -hmm. Yes, come on. And I don't know where my soul will end up Amen. if anything happens to me. Mm -hmm. Amen. I want to pray for you now. If you desire to open your heart to the Most High, just repeat after me. Lord, I'm a sinner. I've lived my life for myself. But today, Lord, I choose to give myself to you. Mm -hmm. I believe that you walked the earth, mm -hmm. that you were put upon a cross to die. You shed your blood and was buried. And three days later, mm -hmm. you rose and are alive today sitting on the right hand side of the Father. You say, if I confess in my heart, believe in my heart, and confess with my mouth, Christ Jesus, then I will be saved. Lord, I confess, and I believe, and I pray from this day forth, that you will lead and guide me Amen. into everlasting life. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We welcome you into the kingdom. Amen. Find a Bible-believing church. Find some powerful men if you're a man or women if you're a woman that believe in God. Get into their back pocket. And let them teach you about the ways of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. 
the Bible says that we are in the world, mm -hmm. but not of the world. Mm -hmm. So understand that your life will never be the same from this point on. We thank you all for joining us, and like we always say, walk by faith, not by sight. God bless. Amen.